Process of converting a digital file into a real-life three-dimensional object. To do this, the printing software does something called slicing. The software converts a modular design into thousands of different slices, which are essentially lines. The printer then starts printing line by line using a complex system involving an elevator moving around a laser. The material, which can be anything from plastic to gold, is stored in a vat which is then melted to create the design slice by slice. Okay, so this is Thingiverse, and you can use it to look up different ideas and stuff for your 3D printing, like what you want to 3D print. So they have a whole bunch of topics and categories and stuff, so let's see what they have. Alright, so Thanksgiving, you can make like napkin rings and acorns and flowers and all kinds of random stuff. Hmm. Look at the turkey! Oh, how cute. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh, and you can also create stuff, but yeah, I'm not that creative. Some people make jewelry. I like this. I want a 3D printed jewelry. Monogram bracelet. Can we do this? <laughs> What is known today as 3D printing was first created in 1983 by John Hall. He theorized the earliest version of 3D printing, which was known as stereolibraphy. In 1992, the first stereolibraphy printer, commonly known as an SLA printer, was created. Um, and so that, and so it moves on an X, Y, and Z axis. Um, so the platform moves up and down, the head moves around. 3D so printing is used in a number of industries. 3D printing is used to create parts for cars and airplanes and usually for a fraction of the cost. In the manufacturing industry, 3D printing is used to quickly produce a prototype before mass producing. The applications for do-it-yourself projects and producing jewelry are infinite and it creates an entirely new world for hobbyists. Lastly and most importantly, the implications for the medical field are literally life-changing. In 1999, an organ was successfully created in a lab. A synthetic scaffold was coated with the patient's cells in order for the body to accept it. This opened the door for medical advancements using 3D printing. Just three years later, a 3D printer was used to produce a viable kidney ready to be transplanted.